the biggest Saints fan I know, quite yeah. frankly, well, uh, is here in studio. You're absolutely uh, right, Rich. Selma, January 9th coming out in theaters near you, starring this man, among others. Wendell Pierce, good to see you, sir. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. That was an anomaly. I don't know about that. All they right. lost their last that's, three home games. That's before an that anomaly. Too, that happens to every team, mm -hmm. every season. A couple of them. We had it with Dallas. We had it with Carolina. Uh, we, had, we are not having the best of season because of the bounce of the ball here or there. One play. Even in that game, if you look at some of the series, some of the plays, our defense was on it. Wendell Pierce, yes. I, I love you. You know yeah. that. Okay, yes. but this is... This sounds like a fan with no. a head in the clouds. No, 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 here. no. This is a fan who. No, you know your football. You know your studies Saints. the I know. game. I, I know. know the Saints, and uh, as Dennis Green says, they are who I know they are. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You're paraphrasing. Uh, now, I, yeah. I'm paraphrasing. Yes, but right. listen, this is what's going to happen. I'm saying it right here on your show. Uh, the NFC South race. First of all. We want uh, the best for Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. He's one of the great quarterbacks. He's yes. in our division. I know that he uh, was just in this accident, and we hope that he is uh, in good health and good spirits. Here, here. And, I, and I, I know I can speak for the entire Houdat Nation is that we, uh, we admire him, respect him, and wish him the best. My father, before every game, yeah. says, uh, you know, he prays, and he says, I hope no one gets hurt, and I hope the Saints win. Yeah, and they and so and, and we and we want that for Cam. You were monitoring the Twitter feed of some uh, some people who are covering this, including a, 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 a Jonathan Jones of the Charlotte Observer, and he's been tweeting out some pictures because it happened just outside of the right. the newspaper. And there was a, a a tweeted photograph of Cam. He's wincing in pain, but he he's not bloodied or mm -hmm. anything like that. Well, that's good. So again, I, and you I, hesitate I, I think, to sit I, and look at. Twitter feeds and pictures and jump to conclusions. But, but all it is is we all are hoping for the best. Yeah, so and it's apparently. Not, it's not, it's, you know, that's, you're not jumping to conclusions. You're jumping to the hope that all of us have. Absolutely, especially since uh, a, a, a witness told uh, the Charlotte Observer as well that the car flipped over four times. Wow. So we, again, hope he's, wow. he's doing well. Um, yeah. And we'll update it for everybody out there who's listening and watching yeah, this so, program. So get well, Cam. Yeah. And now this is what's happening. Yes. We are as excited in the NFC South as they are in the NFC West, NFC East. We have a division race. Three games left in the season. Mm -hmm. Someone, one of three teams is going to win it. I know it's going to be the Saints. We're going to win out, and we are going to play the Seattle Seahawks. Against, again? Again, in the Dome, and we're calling it Payback Playoff. We are going to be that 8-8 eight eight team. Or 7-9. 8 and 18. Yeah. Or 6 and 10. 8 and 18. Right. Playing the Seahawks in the dome and pay them back for 2011. And that's Ang what's going to happen. You Ingram, heard it here first. And Ingram runs through the defense. And the Ingram matter. goes beast mode. Yes. That would be remarkable. That, that if it's that is what's gonna reversal, happen. that it, may actually happen. That's going to happen, Rich. That's going to happen. Yeah. That's going to happen. The Saints are the team that you expected them to be. It just hasn't worked out. Well, why we hasn't it worked executed. out? We haven't What do you think? Is that what it is? I think, I think the first couple of games, it was just, uh, you know, it's turnovers. Uh, I was in Atlanta when, you know, Colston fumbled the ball. You know, I watched when in Cleveland, where it's literally a point, you know, your, your cornerback pointing at the guy like that, which mm -hmm. in universal sign languages, I got him, mm -hmm. and he was telling the guy behind him, get him. He right. never did this. Right. So, Miss Q, guy was so open he was shaking and right. falling down and caught the ball you know and, and Cleveland beat us it was always the bounce of the ball and we played some awful games Dallas the Carolina game but the fact is we're in the hunt right now and we're gonna it, the next three games the Saints the Falcons and the Carolina Falcon, uh, Panthers are in a race and uh, the destiny is in our control and I think we're gonna win out mm -hmm. we're going to Chicago we can win on the road mm -hmm. we can win in the cold I was in Philadelphia everybody likes to forget that game you know, oh, the Saints can never win I outside. I, when you came yeah. on, I would I, I pointed right. that out. But it's, it's speaking of role reversal, four straight losses at home, two in a row on the road. Taking taking it for granted. We t we took our dominance in the dome for granted. I think it was a mental thing. Cool. Even when we were down 17 nothing the other day, every fan of the Saints and the Saints sideline was like, okay, cool. We know what our offense can do. 17 nothing is, you know, something that we can overcome easily. But mm -hmm. We take our dominance in the Dome for granted, and I think it was a wake-up call Sunday. Was, I'm glad that it happened now and not uh, in the playoff race, and that's what we're in. We're four games away from the NFC Championship. Yes, I'm a Saints fan, and I'm saying that. Okay. We're four games away from the NFC 
championship. Okay. That's uh, Wendell Pierce, the dulcet tones, the familiar tones of Wendell Pierce. Uh, Everybody's here. looking at me like I'm crazy, crazy. like, man, well, uh, boy, he had a lot of coffee. Listen, you you <laughs> probably have, you're very highly caffeinated, mm -hmm. but hey, listen, you're a fan, you wear it on your sleeve, you are who you are, and you believe it, and it can happen. I mean, there's no question it can happen. As you pointed out, it happened to you, your team, after winning a Super Bowl championship, going on the road Absolutely. and losing to a team that everybody thought had no business. Had no chance. Hosting a playoff game, let alone winning. Right, one. and I know you still feel that way, but you're uh, going to be in the dome, so don't worry. Okay, about it. you're going to come down. You're going to come down and visit New Orleans. I, I sure hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake, obviously. Um, and the movie Selma coming out uh, in a theater near you, January 9th. Absolutely. And the cast is ridiculous. It's 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 beyond the it's John. David Oliyowo gives yeah. a performance that is uh, out of this world as Martin Luther King Jr. Um, Carmen uh, Adojo is wonderful. As Colette, uh, Coretta Scott King, mm -hmm. we have Oprah Winfrey, who is our producer and plays. I've Andrew heard of Cooper. her. I've, I've yeah. heard of her work. Yes, yeah, she she does good work, and she's uh, she's done well for herself, I hear. And yes, uh, <laughs> and then we, I am part of an ensemble that recognizes uh, SNCC and the Southern Christian Leadership uh, uh, Conference, and all of these men and women who put together a uh, a movement to hold this country up to its values, make sure that this country's uh, uh, rights and citizens' freedoms were um, were easily accessible, and they fought it under the greatest duress and threat of uh, loss of life ever. Uh, and what I always remind people is there's blood on that ballot box, not just by the men and women who have fought our wars overseas to protect our freedoms, but literally citizens here who were denied their own rights, who actually died to make sure that we can sit here rich and uh, uh, and live out the full meaning of what it is to be an American citizen. And uh, I, I want everyone to go and see this movie. It is a great American movie about a great American moment. And it's for all those people who, are, who lost their lives and are in that Alabama River under the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma who are saying, listen to us, tell our story, remember us, and live out the full meaning of what it is to be an American citizen. It reminds me of that moment in Saving Private Ryan, mm -hmm. you know, when, I hope I don't ruin it for people, but... That's all right. It, it's been out long <laughs> enough. Spoiler it's been alert. out long enough, spoiler right? Spoiler alert. alert. Sure. Where he turns to him as he's dying, he says, earn this. Earn this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm dying for you. Earn this. Live your life. And so... Uh, that's what Selma is about. It is a great American story for well, all you, of us. Well, you know I'll see anything you're in. Oh, thank Seriously. you. Seriously. Uh, I will thank see you. absolutely anything that you're in. You're great in Ray Donovan. The Wire is uh, truly one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest drama of all time. Uh, thank you. And, I appreciate it. You know, and and I, I saw you uh, just a couple weeks ago, The New Odd Couple. Yes, or The, the New the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple's coming yes, out. The Odd Couple is coming out uh, in February. In, on CBS. Yeah, February 19th. You know, uh, which I think uh, you're going to be a part of. So. Uh, you know what? Uh, that is, I'm I'm very excited about that yeah. coming out too. It was it was fun. It's and and you know I, that's the thing I love about being a, a journeyman actor. You know, I get to do comedy and drama. What would you, you call? Know, you're, not a journey, you're not a journeyman. Yes, I'm a journeyman actor. Yes. I, well, Listen, I am. The hell of a journey you're on. Oh, it's a great journey. It's a great journey. <laughs> Wendell Pierce is here in studio. I hope uh, many of the things that you said here come true. Mm -hmm. For your the sake. First the first being Saints, Cam Newton, Cam Newton right. is healthy and plays on Sunday. Yeah. Um, and then you, sir. Good luck to you moving forward. Everybody sees Selma uh, on January 9th. Please check in. If you are correct, if you are, if you soothe this properly for the Saints, you've you got to come back. You will see me. I, I will be. I, Please I accept back. your invitation to come back. Yes, sir. Make room for me because the Saints are going to win out and we're going to play Seattle because I think Arizona is going to hang on. Okay. We're going to play Seattle in the dome. That'll be something. And you can put it on your cryon. Yeah. Payback playoffs. Payback playoffs. The Saints are going to take it to the and Seattle And Wendell Seahawks. Pierce is going to march back in the studio. Thanks for coming <laughs> here. Thank you. You bet. Wendell Pierce is here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.